So the reason why I started or how I started watching sumo was uh, it was kind of on the old ESPN. I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I used to be on Strongman. I competed in Strongman. And uh, it was just one of those things that I really, really liked. Now, the reason why I started competing was uh, once I stopped fighting professionally, uh, I started doing jujitsu, more jujitsu competitions. Nobody wrestled anymore. Everybody just started sitting and uh, pulling guard and playing with my feet. So I wanted to be in something that actually had something that dealt with wrestling. So sumo was all wrestling. There we are. There, that's, uh, that's basically how I got into it, and that's why I love it. The reason why I still watch and compete in sumo is, well, uh, after I started like training it, after about three months of uh, training, I uh, competed at nationals and won nationals uh, at, two, at 220 pounds. So at that point, I'm like, yeah, well, since I'm good at it, I might as well kind of keep up with everything. So I started watching a little bit more and just kept winning and kept having a good time. Now I put on shows and uh, it's, it's basically a love of mine. So it's one of those things that uh, it's, just, it's not just a hobby, it's just a, it's a really fun thing for me. I get everybody involved as much as I can. So uh, I love it. It's just a whole new Kung Fu for me. I've done Jiu Jitsu for 20 years. And, it's just something totally different, so I love it. A lot of favorites when it comes to, to pro guys. Uh, the White Wolf is probably my all-time favorite, uh, but when I say amateur or just pro or just anybody like as an overall athlete when it comes to uh, sumo, I'm gonna have to say myself.